welcome to Juiced on the Banter Gaming channel. Um, since last episode, down a little bit of racing again, and um, we've got the 22B prototype, as you can see, up at class 7, the top there, there's a P beside it. Now, what does it mean for your car to be prototype? Aside from the fact that you can now enter prototype races, which pay ridiculously well, you get a hell of a lot of money from that, you can now show you. Add this rhino there. There we go. That one that's always locked until your car is prototyped. Can be applied to each car that is prototyped and yeah, how incredibly random. <laughs> that's the only other benefit of a prototype car. Of course it'll perform well. It'll perform better than a non-prototyped one. Um, even if you were to just... Uh, it's, it's difficult to explain. Even if you were to have a car tuned to the same same horsepower and they're both prototypes, say like one was prototyped and one wasn't, um, the prototype one will always do better. Just full stop. It's it's odd how it works. Right, before we start anything, we're going to go to the workshop and we're going to get this Eclipse up to scratch for class seven. Uh, geez, there's a lot to do to this, isn't there? Right, let's get rid of that. No, you know, we're going to be a bit ricerish with this one. Some random crap down the side. There we go. Make that white. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, window tint's fine. Get rid of the neons. Create a new gauge. Get the bare stereo. Okay, what we got here? Wow, those are pretty awful. I think that one's fair. It's just an extended start from bumper. Yeah, we'll keep that. Wheels. So BBSs. Go for the RAs. Side skirts are all pretty awful, but we'll keep that. Hmm. I think a super rear wing there. We'll fit this one here. And that rear bumper has to go. Yeah, we'll just fit that. The Eclipse is an ugly car, in my opinion. <laughs> it's uh it's very difficult to make look good. Okay, let's see if we can get the power up, we'll put the gearing up a bit more to help it compete with twenty two Ps. Two hundred and ninety two. There won't be anything higher on it. But that's fine. Uh look at paint. That looks suitably rice. Wheel colour. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I, I haven't stopped caring. I just thought if I was going to have an eclipse, it's going to have to look rice as hell. Just, just the way of it, I guess. It's oh, there's an insult to every sense, really. There, it's terrible. Oh well. <laughs> well, ignore that. Won't do a crew challenge yet. Uh, no show off. It's class 7. Interesting class 7, please. For class 8 brakes. Don't really need that, though. Class 7 nitrous. That'll be for 5 laps on TK's track. Let's give that a shot. Free to enter. Could always test out the prototype 22B, but this needs parts. We'll get it done. Who shall we bet with today? Ah, oh, TK's in the Monaro. <laughs> He's you gonna get smoked. Look at him. Ain't it's a shame that the What's Monaro the and the uh, the Falcon no, man. are such bad cars in this. Because they are both brilliant cars in their own right. Sure, 
later on I may just buy them for the sake of having them as sort of showpiece. Could use them as show off cars, I suppose, rear wheel drive. Oh, for that. I've got the Falcon already, but we're now to the collection it won't do any harm. Whoa! Ooh, from the TK. <laughs> got all wheel drive, I'll blow you up the wall. Oh, this looks absolutely terrible. This this is the definition of a juiced car right here. Oh, it didn't particularly handle great either, it has to be said, but Eh, drivable. So, channel updates for you. Oh, shh. Christ. <laughs> Stop trying to speak whilst driving, John. I have kind of have to win this one. I want the nitrous. Channel updates for you. Not an awful lot. I'm having hardware issues. Um, that's the best way of putting it. Uh, those hardware issues. Damn it, what the hell? Get away. I know I'm slightly underpowered, but come on. Uh, basically, my processor is running at max all the time. Not, I'm not doing anything. I've got no programs open. You check the uh, check the uh, task man. Oh, what a dick! Uh, <laughs> See ya. No need for that. Anyway, I'll check the uh, task manager. I'm still here, man. And yeah, nothing running done everything I possibly can and it's still running at full speed all the time. So yeah, oops. That's how I very much limits what I can do at the moment. The fact I'm able to record this is nothing short of a miracle, as I'm sure most of you will know, Fraps is very, very CPU intensive. But hey. Um it may mean at some point that I cut down on the videos that I do. Uh, that would be just a shame because I was just about to start having a ton of my own content up on the channel. But, I guess that's how things go. I hope to uh, rectify the problem with a new computer at some point over the next couple of months. Obviously, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not easy to pull the money for a new PC out of thin air, at least one that's gaming spec. being blown away by focus. Yeah. Logic. There we go. Oh, whoops. She's quite displeased, <laughs> to say the least. Whoa, no. Toy photo. Yep. Oh, no, my eclipse is maxing out at 140. I need NOS. Dive down the inside there. Bit dirty, bit underhanded, but I got pit maneuvered by someone back there, so fair is fair. And besides, I need NOS. How, <laughs> how am I supposed to do more than 140 without my NOS? Ah, oh, Fast and Furious logic. Really, really hate that. I could list 101 reasons why I really dislike Fast and Furious. I'm not gonna, because that's not why I'm here. Oh, uh, bollocks, there we go. <laughs> oh, it does handle like a tank, this. I never quite understood why the Eclipse was so popular with peeps, but. I guess, Lard Bucket, Coops, uh, the in thing. Oh no, she pulled the same tactic, bitch. Oh, my nitrous. How can I go on without my nitrous? <laughs> oh well. Plenty more prototype events ahead. I'm sure I can grab something then. Best car? <laughs> I have no idea why. It's it's, been an education. Wow. That's remarkable. Best car. That's... 
Yeah, I won the bat. Thank you. Everyone's a little bit pissed because I broke their stuff. Yep, up, up. There we go. Let's uh, let's get this up to the appropriate class then. Two sourced DC. Thank you. And there we go. 299 horsepower. Don't think there's anything up. I suppose I should up the chassis mods whilst I'm here. Should handle a tad better now. Um, you know what, we'll do a crew challenge. Okay, about the challenge? Take a challenge. What do you want to do? That time challenge. Okay. Do a 1 minute 40 in an eclipse. This is a really high speed track. But it's free to do. And it ups your respect with said crew. I think it gives you like 50 rep points. Which is a useful little bonus. Minute 40. This is not an enjoyable car to drive. This is, can be quite a tricky track as well, despite the fact that it's almost always connected to the oval. The part outside the oval is bumpy as hell and it will throw your car about. It's little sections. I'll undoubtedly come across one. And completely ruin my lap time. You can, the great thing about these though, is unlike every other race in the game, you can restart. You can just start again, no penalty. Good. Oh no, 140. <laughs> oh jeez. If if this sort of car in this sort of style is your thing, I'm sorry for any insulting I may have I may have done. It's you know, everyone likes their own things. Whether they're silly or not. <laughs> That joke, it's we all have our own taste. Just just so happens that light green eclipses with big wings aren't my thing. Well, if you like the Fast and Furious movies as well for that matter, then feel free to leave anger comments for me insulting your favourite movie. Yay! One completed the challenge, I don't know why we're only getting one. There we go. My 50 rep. Fantastic. And we've got new mods. I've got one for having a sweet collection. I don't think there was anything else to customise on this really. Body kits were all awful. Um, let's run off the final stage. Yeah, we have lost the final stage. It's better than that, but you know what? It's drivable there. So I keep it as is until we find some prototype mods. Right. Honda, point to point. Six grand. Let's get it done. Twenty grand win if we do it. Take myself out. Of course, I was about to say, where the hell is my MX-5? <laughs> it's a Honda race. Um, CTR, yeah, we'll give the CTR a chance to perform on something other than the drag strip. Uh, it's all Hondas. Right, Jack's got the most underpowered car there. Oh my god, dude, so I totally better need again. to get you back. There's some serious mods on that car. Good luck getting back. Try I mean, it. I'm not crazy. Especially if you're not willing to take big bets. I mean, come on. I love it when people want to give. Right, let's do this. Well, that's, that's for channel updates. I really do wish there was more to say. Um, I guess that's why we have the banish service. Announcements down to round things up into one big. Whoa, a bit messy there.
go. Round things up into one big woo group because there are you know, there's, there's not that much going on really on a day to day basis. And this series comes out twice a week, so you know, not much happens in a whoa week as much as you want it to. That's <laughs> got your own channel you kind of want this stuff to be happening all the time but so that is not the case this is a really that's being pushed about like hell here it's got some horns no stop stop shouting at me you're the ones around me Fantastic. A lot easier when you've got your cars up to scratch and you're not trying to drive an MX-5 or a Falcon. Um, anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching, guys.